Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today going to finish up some uh, ephemera that I have on my desk. If I can, if I can make a dent in this, my desk area is going to be fairly clean and that would be awesome. <laughs> So, I want to say hi and hugs first to Dale, Debbie, Brenda, and Joni's journals. Joni, you spell it just like my daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and your comments. I have a little bit of Gail mail that I just wanted to share with you um, real quick. This is from Jody. Jody is Unique Unicorn Designs on Etsy, and her YouTube channel is Jody Lynn with an E, two N's and an E, Creations. And I'll put her links in the description box. She was just uh, thanking me for introducing her unique unicorn designs shop. And she sent me some fun little things that, uh, I believe she's, um, she's got in her Etsy store too. So you guys can, can go over and check that out. Look at these cute fall season of thanks, fall dangles memories. And it's got a little, um, like a maple leaf on it. And then this one says grateful with a pumpkin and a little bead on this one. Yeah, these are adorable. Thank you so much, Jody. And great timing because I am in the midst of fall journals. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then this one is from um, Kylie at uh, Paper Daisy Journals. So um, I haven't opened it yet. So let's see what it is. Um, yeah, I didn't know if um, the things in Happy Mail might be something we could use. Oh my goodness, I have no fingernails. I cannot get this open. Okay, it's more than one way to skin a cat, isn't there? But yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. Look at this beautiful tag she's got on there. And she says, thank you for showing her Etsy shop. Oh, thank you, Kylie. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Paper Daisy Journals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice. Thank you. Look at it. It's, um... Uh, what do you call it? Florentine paper? Is that what you call it? I think maybe. Oh, wow. That is just so beautiful. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that something? Gold and shiny. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, look at that. Teal and pink. You know I love that piece. Oh, these are lovely. Thank you so much, Kylie. Bless your heart. Thank you. Her little three-year-old helped her decorate the envelope too. That was cute. It's got some. It's got some crayons on it. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's got bunnies and deer and fox, berries. Oh my gosh! So Christmas. Oh, isn't that a cute Christmas one? And I'm doing the Christmas challenge too. So awesome! Some peacock feathers. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you so much. Both Kylie and Jody. my pleasure showing your shops. You have wonderful things. And so, yeah. So the other thing I did this morning is I have purchased the, um, the Botanical Kit, kit 3 from uh, Roxy Creations. And I got it printed out this morning. So I thought I'd show you because I might use some of this in what I'm doing today. So these are the pages. Aren't they pretty? And then these are the journal cards. And I just have those printed on copy paper because I'm going to use these for collage. I sometimes like the smaller images, especially for um, ephemera. So I printed those just on the copy paper. And then gorgeous tags. Oh, my land. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think Rachel said that her husband did most of the work on these. He does a great job. It's unbelievable. Look at these. So pretty.
so pretty. Good job, Steffi. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So anyway, I may be working with those a little bit. And I think I have, I don't know. I think I have another part of one of her botanical kits over here too. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I've done already. I showed you all of these paper clips. I, sh I, I think I did on camera, but I got a few more done. So I thought I'd show them to you. So this one, it says you can't skip and be unhappy at the same time. And one of Timeless Crochet for you, one of her little images there. Um, this one, I just used the little Tim Holtz um, Field Notes ephemera pack for that one. And a couple of pieces on that one. That's a good fall one, so go in one of my fall journals. This one, again, that ephemera piece, and it was just the right size for the ticket, so all I did is put a little fabric and some blingies. And then I used a Tim Holtz little girl. So all of those are done now. I have a I have a pile of them. It's so lovely. That's that's awesome. Um, I had three tags that I cut when we were doing my birthday adventure with Carrie. So they are sewn around now, so I could decorate them. I did decorate one, and um, let's see. This is using a bird from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah that Laurel gave me. And then um, I did a few pockets. So I did these and did this one. And these are gonna go in my um, uh, Autumn Alphabet Kit, uh, the, the, um, the journal that I make from that kit. Autumn Alphabet, which is from Vintage Studio 717. Somehow that all got mixed up in my brain. <laughs> okay, so, so, so we are going to get started because I have lots of blank, lots of blank stuff that I want to finish up. Okay, so you might remember this like from a long time ago. What I was thinking on it is... If I can find them over here. I thought I had some um, scraps from, from doing the uh, mixed media fat journal. I thought I had some scraps. Oh, I know where I put them. Not in the scrap bags. Good grief. That's what happens when you have 50 million scrap eggs. <laughs> okay. I stuck them in here, I think. And so let's see if I can find them or something else similar. Ooh, that could go nice with that. That's not what I was looking for, but it'll work. That well, doesn't go too bad either. Okay, maybe we'll work with those. It's like, this is nearly done, but not quite. And so it's kind of like, let's get it done. Oh, you know what I'd like? It's a longer strip, maybe. Right there. If I can see what I can find here that is longer and that would go. Not long enough wouldn't go anyway. <laughs> um, well, yeah, not finding anything right there. I'll look in something else, but I'm thinking of just a little, just a little pocket right there. So I think we'll do that. Yeah, just thought I'd like to kind of get this one, get this one done, because it is so close. So maybe what we'll do is we'll clip a little thumb hole in that just to give it a little personality. And um, this is nice sturdy cardstock, so it will make a good pocket. 
punch that right at myself. <laughs> okay, um, I'll just... Yeah, that's going to be kind of nice right there, I think. Oh, I think I put my ink dauber onto the lid rather than <laughs> the ink pad. Okay. I think I need my sleeves up too. It's cold down here, but in my in my little happy place, it is cold. Okay. And then maybe I won't put any ephemera in this yet because I'm thinking I might just want to see what particular, you know, kit I'm using or whatever. Now, I really want something down there. So, do I have anything in my, in my scraps over here? Like I say, I have like how many things of scraps? Okay, those don't really go. Darn. They would have that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Look, I have these. <laughs> Oh, too many scraps, guys. Too many scraps. Do you ever feel like you have too many scraps? These are maybe not wide enough, though. I don't feel like they are. Well, there's pink, just plain pink, but it's not the right color of pink. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Oh! But... Whilst I was over there, look what I found. This will work. Do we want that side or that side? Looks like I scored this, but I don't. I think it'll work anyway. I kind of like the roses. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So funny. I was just putting that bag of scraps away, and there this was. It's like, okay, that's the right width. All right. I'm still really struggling with my new glasses. So I'm going to have to take them in and get them adjusted because they are just killing my ears. And I think, you know, I look down so much that they're, they're pressing funny. Maybe we'll put a thumb hole in that too, just cause. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah. So I was just, just noticing that they're hurting. It's like, I can only wear them a couple hours at a time. Then I have to resort back to my old glasses, which fall down my nose. <laughs> so I got, I've got a problem either way. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, let's pop this. And then I don't know if we want one on the outside of this flap. Probably. Okay, that's perfect. So something can slide in there. Yeah, let's let's put a little something right here. Um, what do we want to put? Let's put it like a should we put a side pocket? Maybe so. Ouch. Just poked myself with my pin. All right. So cuz that Maybe right there. Okay. I think I can. There's a line so I can cut this on my own. Well, then that's just like that, though. 
let's let's just do this. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I'm going to put some lace over that so that it's um, it kind of covers up the red rose a little bit. And then I think we're done. I'm not going to put anything on the back. So, okay. And I did a little rearranging. I have these three things of lace that were on my shelf. And it's like... They're away from me, so I never use it. And so I thought I am just going to have this basket beside me so that I can just grab lace out of there. And then when it gets empty or, you know, the lace is getting gone, then I will um, go ahead and refill it a bit. So that's that's my new lace plan. Of course, I have a whole rolly cart over there, but um, I don't have it right by my desk because it's it's too much. You know, I have three others <laughs> right here. Oh, Gail. My husband said, why do you need all this stuff? And I said, choices. <laughs> Gotta have choices. Okay. So now, I do believe this little flippy flappy, we've got one, two, three, four pockets. Okay. That's cute. And we could tie it up with like a little pink ribbon or something. I think I have some pink ribbon, but it's on the other side of the room. So we won't worry about that. We're calling that one done. Woohoo. Okay. Now I have about, oh, I don't know, a gazillion of these little bases made. So this was what I was thinking of using the Roxy Creations, some of the um, journal cards on. So let's get that paper out. Okay, set that aside. I'm going to set the tags aside because I'm finishing up old projects. I'm not doing it new ones. <laughs> so let's see. There was one I thought. Oh, I think it was this one that has mushrooms on the, the other one. Here's a little mushroom. But I can't get the bird. The mushroom. I was thinking of trying to go for some kind of fall colors is what I was thinking. So this is a little over two and a half by two. Okay. Um, so oh I got I've got to show you that idea too. Um I'll I'll do that in another video. This, this one's going to have enough. I think I'm just going to go right there. Ah. And try and get the butterfly and a bit of the flower is my, is my goal. So. Okay. Well, that was a shoddy rip. Should have probably just... Um, taking out the the whole journal card, huh? That's okay. Okay, so but see how those smaller. Um, the smaller prints work better on a little piece of ephemera than the bigger ones would. Okay. Little little bits that will come in handy for something. 
I'm going to put that right there actually because I was kind of sad to rip it off because it was like down here. But I can just move it in. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need a glue book, don't I? I thought I... Yep. There it is. It's just buried. It's just buried. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Gosh, can you believe tomorrow is already Scrappy Saturday again? So um, I'm excited, though. I have a project that I want to try that I saw on another channel. So I am I already know what we're going to do tomorrow, which is always nice to kind of have a plan. So... Um, and it's, it's nice to be able to do a project that, you know, I was kind of having a hankering to do anyways. Gosh, I forgot my watch this morning. I just looked down at my wrist to look at the time and it's not there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Um, love these little over the page and belly clips. And I think they just really add something to your page. And these can kind of be lumpy bumpy if you want them to be because, you know, they can come out. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I might put one other thing on there, but okay. So I was thinking that, and then I was thinking, was it that bird? Yeah, I was thinking about this bird right here and the, you know, the brown is kind of, and a nice. So this time I'm going to tear out the whole journal card <laughs> and have a have a better time of it. Okay. Okay, so I think I can just do this at the top. We're going to be Missing his bottom half, but that's okay. Right? Oh, I think I could really just go with that line that's right there. are pretty quick to kind of cover, aren't they? Not especially when you have an idea of what you want to use. So they're good. So update on you on Jimmy Joe. He's he's doing pretty well. But not great, to be honest. Not great. He's struggling. He's still trying to eat the rocks. We've tried a muzzle. That doesn't work. Cage muzzle has too much space. Um, a regular muzzle, like he he won't he won't go potty when he's going out. He just fights it. So uh, I don't know. We're struggling a bit with the boy, so we had some extra prayers. We could use them. Of course, nothing like a lot of people are going through with sickness and virus and such things, but you know, everybody has, everybody kind of has their own problems, don't they? <laughs> oh. Oops. Well, that's not going well. There we go. That's all right. It can be raggedy. It's going to be on in on the edge a bit anyway. I think I'm going to put that right down there, just like I kind of did on the other one.
So, but today's been fun. Um, I'm actually filming this on the Saturday before it airs. And I think we're up to Friday, about a week ahead. I'm just giving myself some leeway to, so that I don't stress. Um, and, you know, if I have a day where, for whatever reason, dog related or other, <laughs> that I can't film, I'll be okay and have videos for you guys. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, we are um, kind of going back and forth and wa we're watching our grandsons play football in Denver. How about that? Thank goodness for things like Periscope. Okay, so I kind of want like a little, I think I might have to go Tracy Box. Where did I put her? I think her little ones might be in this ephemera. Well, the botanicals are. Yes. Okay. The little bitty guys. Let's see. Here we go. These. That's what I was thinking. These itty bitty tiny little labels. And they're brown, so they're a little bit, a bit too big. Teeny tiny, and yet it was a bit too big. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's cute, isn't it? And are these just, nope, these are on labels. Look at that. Easy peasy. And I'll see if there's a spot for one on the other side, too. Okay. Let's just pop that right down there. Okay. And over here, I was kind of looking at that, but I don't know that we have one that goes the right direction. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want it to hit the bird's head. <laughs> okay, so. I want one that goes up and down if there is such. Oh, here's some numbers. Put a little number there. I haven't quite given up on an up and down one yet, though. I might be giving up soon. Let's just let's just do a number. Um, let's do nine for September, since it's going to be kind of a fall thing. My scissors are way too big to be doing this, but. And I have tiny ones right there, but <laughs> I didn't want to take any time to grab them. Okay, great. All right, so do a little nine right there. Um, somewhere, yeah. Have this little. Scrapo fabric. Yeah, so we're watching our our grandson that's let's see, he's 13. Watching him play, and he was um, on defense and he was blitzing the quarterback. And oh my gosh, he ran into a brick wall of a kid. <laughs> I think it kind of rung his bell a little bit. He had to come over to mom and get some um, 
Tylenol. I don't know. For some reason, football and wrestling is so hard for me to watch my grandsons do. Oh. It. I cry. <laughs> Big surprise to you guys that I would be a big baby about it, right? But, oh my gosh, it's just like seeing them get hit and seeing them in awkward positions in the wrestling. It just drives me crazy. Okay, so there's there's a little over-the-page belly clip. So that's going to be for the um, an autumn journal. Now I'm thinking the red and the blue, I've got a couple of those. So I think we'll do another one and we'll do this one for um, the autumn alphabet. I've just kind of been, while I've been doing the others, I've just kind of been preparing things for that because um, that's coming up here, but I'm going to use my September, um, my September craft text is going to be the cover, I think. And so just kind of waiting to do that cover before I get going on the journal. You know what I mean? So I did a little bit on our, um, Our fall journal. I did a little bit, not much, the other day. Just did a couple things. So, but you will see it. Of course, you will see it. Okay, so that's going to be that side. Let's while we're while we're ripping, let's get this blue and red bird for the other side. How about? Let's see. Just gonna. Rip this out. I'm going to need to do some collage pages here soon, too. I don't know if I'll do them on camera or off, but... Probably on, knowing me. Because I just as soon have you guys to talk to while I do, while I do stuff. Let's see. Okay. So actually, I'm just going to take this so they're the exact same size. So we don't have one hanging over the other or something. Ooh, isn't that a pretty scrap? That's a pretty scrap. I don't know. These botanical kits of Rachel's just speak to me. I love them. Or should we say Steffi's? I don't know. <laughs> so. But doesn't that make... I, I love using these um, journal cards in this way. Because then the images are smaller. And you can just... Make them fit your little bitty pieces of ephemera. Listen to my husband. It's uh, he's been popping upstairs, downstairs uh, because um, you know he's been working for the for the school and um, just doing their scheduling and stuff. And school just started this week, and so now it's it's work out any kinks time. <laughs> He's been helping the person that took his place get everything situated. I think we're ready for a new glue page. Oh my gosh, it's all clean over there because I've got all this ephemera over here. I would be so happy if in the next couple of days I could just get her all done. Just get her done. Okay. I am going to, 
gosh, I hate to cut that off though. I don't think I will. Let's just try and make sure they don't stick together. Okay, what else might we like on here? Doesn't really matter that that hangs down because they're going to be on uh, on different pages, if you know what I mean. Like it's going to be over the page. So, do I want a little lace? I need a. I feel like I need a little depth. A little something right there. Wonder if this fun little lace that I grabbed out of my bucket. Could just go right there. I like that. And then maybe I have another idea. Okay. Art glitter glue. I was like, where's my glue? Don't know which one I want. Okay. That on there. And then what I was thinking is one of these buckets, this one, yeah, has these little pearly things in it. So I think I'll put like three of those on there. Okay. Yeah. I think so. I don't know if I can glue it here and pick it up. Probably get all gluey. <laughs> I could use tweezers. I could. But am I? No. Yep, I'm all gluey. Is stick on there? No. Okay. Um, they're kind of rounded, if you know what I mean. Let's try Fabri-Tac. See if Fabri-Tac works. Okay, we'll put our pins in while I hold those on there. <laughs> oh. So, and then, okay, that's cute. Okay, so then on this side, I was thinking, again, uh, this little brown fabric, that might be nice. This way, take out a couple of threads. Man, I really did cut my fingernails too short. I can't, I can't use them as implements right now. <laughs> Trim that slightly because I don't want it on the birdie's head. Okay, put you there. Save that, and then um, maybe put another little label on it. I'm thinking. I think I have. Let's see. Oh, they're not there. Where's my? Um, hang on one second. Not there. Here. Sorry, I had my, my pouch for Artsology over on my other table because we were watching the football down here. And um, these are some of Deb from Artsology's, her tags. 
and um, that were given to me by Laurel. Thank you, Laurel. All cut and inked beautifully and everything. And I'm thinking maybe I'd like that. Actually, maybe I'll go with the blue. I think there's a blue in here. I do see a blue. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the blue. Mike's talking to Jimmy. He's been amazing at taking care of him and because I'm not much help because I am down here doing my thing all the time. But yeah. There we go. Oh, that's cute. And that will be that will be fun for the um for the blue and red one. Oh, they must be going outside. Yeah, it's I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. But we'll just keep on keeping on. Okay, so now what else do I have? I do have another one of these that we could cover. Have that. Um, okay, that's just about the right size. That'd be nice on the back. I really like that. Okay, well, I wasn't planning on doing this right now, but let's do it. It's nearly the right size. Nearly, not quite. Okay, then it's a little too wide too. And so I think I'll take it off this side because I want to keep as much of the flowers as possible. And that's so good because we more or less um, used a scrap then. And I'm going to put that on the back. I think this is um, the botanical kit too, if I'm not mistaken from Roxy Creations. Well, before my grandson's, the next grandson's football game, I definitely have changed out my glasses. They're owie in my ears. Alrighty, let's get that on there and let's get it nice and gluey. that so what do we want on the front I do have um, some more of these um, oh that's a pretty one but I think I need I need something behind that just looking at what we have available here I do have that but then that would Let's do something different. Let's do that, and then we'll do like a label or something. Okay. Yeah. My husband's telling him you gotta stay in. Uh. And he, Jimmy's used to being able to be out there when Mike is working in the yard or whatever. So it's just it's hard. It's really hard. We're actually kind of thinking about seeing if we can find a family that's got a yard that is more conducive to him being a dog, you know. Yeah, I don't know. This rock eating thing is 
I mean, he can keep going in for surgery. I mean, that's just, it's not good on him, and I can't afford it. <laughs> so, <sighs> would break my heart, but we might have to do it because I just don't feel like it's fair to him to be all cooped up in the house all the time. Other than, of course, once he recovers from the surgery, we'll be able to take him for walks. But that's not playtime, you know. So, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. That's really pretty. I like that. That birdie. That's nice. Okay, so then, ooh, look at that little scrap right there. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. We're going to do it. Thank you for listening to my angst over my dog. Please don't give me five million suggestions. We are working with our vet. We are trying and, you know, while I appreciate the input, there's been a few times when I've talked dog things that I've had some really, really awful comments. So if you're so inclined, just keep those to yourself, please. Okay. But, you know, I talk about my life. That's what I talk about. And right now, this is where we're at. It's kind of not a great spot. But I got that on a little crooked, I feel like. I wonder if I can get it off. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, good. Well, we'll re-glue it. And I'll try to do a better job this time. I'll do my best to try and get it straight. That's better. Okay, now I'm happier. Um, again, I'm thinking about lace of some sort. This is pretty. Yep. That's just perfect. But then I think if we were working outside the home, Jimmy would be in the house all day, right? I don't know. Okay. I think I'm going to go right on the lace. Good thing I did that because I think I had the wrong side up. lovely on both sides <laughs> okay put that right there it's nice for the cover let's see what we have for pieces for the inside how am I doing time wise guys oh about 10 minutes we can get some more done in 10 minutes not sure what exactly. I'm going to look. See, there's that lovely flower. So that could be nice on the inside. And then you're not covering up too, too much if you put a pocket on there. That's a fun scrap, too. You're coming up a little. We can't have that. Okay. And I think 
go not all the way to the crease. Don't want this to be all the way to the crease either. That's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it's good. I think I'll go ahead and ink some of this. Just in case it shows. bit might show a little bit okay oh might as well do this right so I sure appreciate your helping me get a few more pieces of ephemera done I'm kind of sad because I have so many more but you know I think I might pop them into my box of unfinished ephemera and you know, we'll work on them as we need more ephemera, so that'll be okay. Because um, all I have is these two tags that I did out of a scrap, and then I have the Edith Holden tags, which I can work on when I work on my projects from Carrie. Or, you know, work on them off camera too, I suppose. Let's put this guy down here. There's that. Do I have another strip that looks promising? Not really. I don't really have another strip. Because this is, this is too small for that. Could go here, I suppose. Okay, so now... I'm going to grab these. Let's see. I think there was a pink one. Well, there's that flower. That could be nice. Let's do that. <clears throat> so, I think I'm going to go right down this part. Um, and then, then, go here, and then, eat the bottom off, and then we'll see how that will just it right there. Yes. I just absolutely love these digitals for um, doing collage because they just have so many, so many elements on them, you know, <clears throat> so many places to, to go with it and, and bits to cut off and then they just make a whole nother, a whole nother look to them, really. It's driving me crazy not having my watch. Isn't it so funny how you get so used to that? But just trying to make sure that I'm done by 11 so that I can watch my grandson. This is the middle guy. He's 11. Look like a beautiful day in Denver. No smoke or anything. Last week uh, was it last weekend that we watched um, the football, and uh, it was very smoky there from the California fires. But it looked a lot better today. So I know our air is a lot better than it was. Okay, isn't that pretty? So we have the front, the back. And those now we just need these bits and um, where's the, 
stickers. My ears hurt so bad, you guys. <laughs> I really got to get these glasses off. Oh, gosh, all my, all my bits are too small. Okay, well, let's see what else we have in here. These aren't tall enough, I don't think. No, they are not. So, where's that pink one I was looking for the first time? There it is. Let's use bits of that over here. I think I can go right here. Sounds like my husband might have the game going. I might have to finish up another day on this. That's going to be pretty, though. Although, I do think... I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. off of the top well we can't finish this tomorrow because we've got scrappy Saturday and that needs to happen so I'll what I'll do is I'll finish it off camera and then I'll just show you at the beginning of tomorrow's video okay does that sound like a plan we'll get this one down and then I'll call it good and get to get to watching the football game guy he's he's a running back and he is fast he's fun to watch and he's got moves you know like he can go one way then the other way and leave his defenders wondering what happened <laughs> yeah he's so cute such a sweet boy okay okay guys I'm gonna call it good there and we'll I'll show you the end of it, or I mean, I'll show you the end result later on. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a grateful day, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.